thing. I'm, I'm Ezra, back with my boy D. This is kind of like, you know, part two. We're going to be uh, working uh, on the kind of crazy girl type issue from a spiritual perspective. Instead of responding in anger or you know uh, trying to retaliate against her, you, you want to come yeah. at her, you know. Tell being us about reasonable. Warriors. How did you come up with that song? Um, well, the song I'm working on right now is called Warriors. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a fragment of what I'm going through in life right now. You know, standing on your belief and, and your faith, and, and it's being tested. And you ain't actually got to even pick up a sword. You ain't got to pick up a gun. You ain't got to pick up a knife. You just got to be strong in what you believe. That's the, that's the whole war. That's the whole concept, the principle of the song. Uh, from the standpoint of what you're saying, women all do something because of a reason. Men, they do stuff unexplainable. I don't know. I just, it just happened. Women, they... You know, it's an input, and you got that output. So you gotta look at it. But well, why is she doing it? Why is she acting this way? Something going on. It's it's, it's a reason why. Why so, You know, I think that that's a mutual thing uh, from a very strong spiritual perspective. Men, we have issues like that too. You know, sometimes we in relationships and we might just kind of act out, and uh, we dealing with a female and she's not understanding why. So, uh, my, my advice 
guess my quote, my standpoint is, is that if you're a person and you're, you're spiritually centered, you, know, you have a knowledge of God, you have a knowledge of His Word, not something that somebody told you, but something that's in you, that, that, that's your structure, that's your foundation. You're going to want to lean towards that to uh, let them know, uh, you know, where you're coming from. You want to stand on whatever your spiritual base is and approach that situation yeah, from that standpoint. Leader. You got to be a warrior. Leader. Yeah. You got if you believe in it, you got to stand on it. You got to drive for it. You, you can't back down. You know, you got to be tenacious. You got to be adamant. I love yeah. the I love the scripture that says, you know, since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violent yeah, yeah. take it by force. You know, if you want something, if if you want stability in your relationship, if you want to bring a resolution to a problem that you're going through, any situation, whether it be with a, a mate that's, you know, acting like they're not all there and you're not really understanding the situation, I, I encourage you to seek God, find out what he's saying, know it within your spirit, and then approach it from that standpoint. You have a balance in life between everything that's spiritual and everything that's secular. Because we're in this world, even though yeah, as believers we might not be of the world, but yeah, we're in this world, we're present it. here. So there's a balance. We have to deal with the situations from both perspectives so that the solution can be holistic. You know, a lot of times we'll do all spiritual, all spiritual, all spiritual, but we don't come at it from any other angle, any other perspective. And you need that yeah. in order to be holistic in this life. You know, everything isn't spiritual. But right. spiritual things do translate and have effect in the natural realm. So you, kind of, you have to have both. You know, if you go through something and it's locked in up here, I don't tell people, you know, don't go see a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go see the psychiatrist. Get some advice. Get tools and techniques on how to deal with your situation. And at the same time, get on your knees. Pray. You know, read your word. Whatever it is you believe in. And come at it from both angles. That's the only way that you can be, um, how can I say this, made perfect. Yeah. It might, you might not be perfect in another person's eye, but when you get to the place where your life becomes made perfect in your eyesight and in the eyesight of God, you've really gone somewhere. You've achieved something. So for now, warriors, baby. Warriors.